Clap our hands now. Very simple. Okay, another one from France. Loretta, Sister Loretta from France. Let's have your question. Okay. Go ahead, Loretta. Shalom, church. Shalom. Go ahead. Shalom, shalom, church. I'm listening, I'm listening. Shalom. Okay. I, I, I want to ask uh, Mr. Fish yeah. if it is compulsory that we must inject the female, the female fish rather than leaving them to lay their eggs naturally. Come again. Oh, is it compulsory that we kill the female fish? Huh? Oh, is it compulsory we inject the female fish okay, before they bring out their eggs? Uh, it is not compulsory that you... That's a very good question, Loretta. Now, it's not compulsory that you inject the female fish, but the consequences is so unprofitable that you always want to inject her. How? If she's pregnant like that, you know, rainy season, her eggs will grow big, she sees a flood, and then if you don't inject her, that means it will need a male to beat the stomach of the female to allow her, you know, I was the one who acted as male. I acted as male by pressing the stomach, isn't it? But in this case, it's the husband that will end up beating her tummy to release the eggs and then he will now release the milk. But the problem is this. Once she releases her eggs, she will now, she's now desperately hungry. And she looks for any food in the environment, right? The first food she sets her eyes on, that's protein, she eats it anyhow. And what's the first protein she will see in the natural environment? Her eggs. So she goes ahead and eats 98% of her eggs. That's why fish is still expensive, even though a fish can give you 70,000 eggs. It should be the cheapest thing now, cheaper than Gary, but because of the same problem. Even men, no matter how irresponsible the man, the day the wife gives birth in the hospital, that's when you see him running about. He wants to buy Milo, he wants to go and buy Mr. Biggs. I've seen some, some guys like that now. That things they've never bought for the wife, all because they want her to replenish the trauma she's gone through. But in the case of the fish, the husband too is looking for eggs to eat. I don't know why there's animals are animals here. <laughs> Not a kind of animal, you know. <laughs> you know, we're all animals too. But then the, 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 the man turns on the head, the woman turns on the head. So out of the 70,000, only about 1,000 gets survives. Out of that, dragonfly baby will eat, frog will eat, toad will eat. Oh uh, my God. Before you know it, only two survives out of 70,000. Wow. That's why fish is sick. So, Loretta, it's, it's nice. To allow the thing to do it naturally you know that's humane but it's really unprofitable okay. how many of you would like your female to to release her eggs on her own now oh oh no hands up Allah. okay <laughs> i think i answered your question loretta <laughs> so it is not profitable at all is that okay so tomorrow we're going to work on that water thing i want to talk very briefly about growing the catfish from the fingerling size to the adult size I, I, now. I, I, I'm sorry, there's another <laughs> caller okay. coming from KB State. Okay. KB State Isaiah has a question. Okay. Yes, let's hear you quickly. Uh, shalom. 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 Uh, please, uh, I just want to confirm uh, because I did not start with you when you started the program. I would like to know the name of the chemical being uh, injected to the female fish. And uh, how should how will I all where will I get all the necessary equipment and chemicals used for fish farming? I don't know if it's possible to get it from you. Okay. Oh, that's a very good yes. question. Now, uh, like I told you, that chemical is a long is a long story. Uh, they call it if you Google over print, if you go to Google and Google it, it's one long chemical name. But it's available in most stores now. Between 1989 
1992. My for a long time, but now we have close to almost a hundred or plus more. I'm sure we're close to a thousand now selling fish materials now because of the openness, liberality. They've seen that I can open a shop too. You can even sell fish food too. A lot of profit for selling fish food. Now, concerning the equipment, there are quite a number of them you are going to get in your environment. You can get knife now from your wife's kitchen. No, so. You have blade. The one you they used to shave now, isn't it? You can use that now. Tissue paper now, you take that from your toilet, right? I told you already that you can, you can wrench your, the, the toilet uh, sewage pipe. If you don't want to buy, you remember when I was joking, to, for the, then you can wrench, you can even tear your window stuff, your aluminum window, that black stuff, to get the net. Get your white scarf and your anger to make the one for Daphne. You know, there's so many things you can improvise on your own. But the specialist one, like uh, overpring, uh, what's it called? The fish of a booster. In fact, the list is there in the book. You can always call Tunde Lawal on uh, his number is 006. Uh, I think they should show the number on screen. <coughs> Today, show the number on screen so that you call him and then he will just let you know, uh, tell you the prices of the one because our shop is still in existence and our materials are really reasonable. So you can always, the one we don't have will tell you where's the nearest place in your area to get it. Because there's no point spending transport of 2000 to come and buy something 1005 It doesn't make sense. So we tell you this is where you need to buy. So I think they will show today's number very soon. And then uh, zero, zero, what, what's the number? Zero, zero, nine is something. But they will show it now. So that you, why I don't, why I'm not putting my number now? Because I have enough on my neck. Because my own job is to simplify the very complex things. I know some people are watching this program now. They are interested to set up a farm that will generate 100 million naira on an acre of land. Those are the ones I settle down for to answer. Where I'm going to let you know where the pond will be, where the ashery, the nursery, the feed mill, the uh, brew stock shop, the hospital, the quarantine. You know, those massive planning things. In fact, they're going to show a few of them now once we start the rural technique stuff. And you'll see that we all divided our attention. I'm going to rush that one for about just 15 minutes. They grew out. We're going to use more of illustrations to let you know because we've got the books there to make that easy for you. And most cases, when you train people, they will see this somebody from me to help them not to make mistakes. Two ways. Mr. Fish helped me to do everything, which sometimes I don't even like because you engage us for almost 30 days. I don't like that. But I always prefer, oh, Mr. Fish, can I have a supervisor from you? Do you pay him per day? He will supervise your bricklayer, your plumber, your electrician, and help you do the right thing without you making mistakes. So those are the areas me I solve. Why today goes ahead to solve the area of him? In fact, it's going to be the friend of the, of the women here more, together with my wife. They take care of that area while I take care of the real big ones. Very soon you realize how big my own assignment is now. By the time I show you goldfish, angelfish, gurami, what's it called now? I'm going to just pass through over there and tell them because those ones are simpler. The most complex is this catfish. And God has given us grace today to simplify it so much. The others are one-tenth simpler. So they, don't, they didn't even need explanation. <laughs> are you getting me? So I'll just mention them, show you the fish. Somebody gave me order for this, oh, for about 10,000 pieces at $1 for one per week. Who's going to take over? Who's going to do this? I'll just show some of them to you. And then you can go out and pick we have over 21 uh, booklets here. They are highly discounted. Are you getting me? Some of them are. Don't go and show prizes because don't put me in trouble. <laughs>